This is MathCamp321 presenting a video on section 1.1 of your textbook, Geometry for Enjoyment and Challenge, on how to find intersections and unions of geometric figures. To start, let's just talk about what is an intersection. An intersection represents the point or points in common between two or more geometric figures. So I'm just going to write down the phrase points in common. And the intersection symbol is an upside down U. Now let's contrast that with the word union. These words often go hand in hand, intersection and union. Union, the phrase that I'm going to write down is joins together. And the symbol for union is a U. And the fact that it means joins together makes a lot of sense because union and the word unite are related. So let's take a look at our first example. And by the way, if you have colored pencils or colored pens, it's really helpful. Students in the past have found this a tremendous help having this. So number one, they want us to find the union of ray CB. So that means start at C and go in the direction of B. And we're going to join that with ray CD. So that means start at C and go in the direction of D forever. Now I look, if I look at both of these colors, the blue and the green, and I join them together, what I'm left with is a straight line. Now to name a line, I need any two points on the line with a certain notation above. So pick any two of those four points. I'm going to use points B and D. And to show that the answer is a line, I'm going to use the proper notation. This is an important part of the answer is the notation. Sometimes students neglect that and they just write BD. But to state that it's a line is, is very important. Okay, let's move to number two. In number two, they're asking us to unite line segment ED. So here's E and here's D. And let's make a line segment out of that in, in light blue. And they want us to unite with that or join together with it BE. So there's the endpoint for B. There's the endpoint for E and now I'll join them together. So we've got a green segment and we've got a blue segment and we're supposed to join them together. Well, because they're actually connected, we end up getting a longer segment than either of the two that we started with. That longer segment starts at B and it ends at D. So the answer is gonna be line segment BD. In example three, they're asking us another union question. This time they're asking us to unite ray CB and ray CA. When I look at the result of what I have so far, when I unite the blue ray and the green ray together, what I'm getting is an angle. And I know from earlier lessons that to name an angle, I'm going to need, I'm going to need three letters and a certain notation. So let me write down the angle symbol. And the middle letter of the three letters has to be the vertex, which is C. So I can call this angle A, C, B, or I could call this angle BCA, or ACE, or ECA. I'm going to go ahead and just name it angle BCA. Okay, moving to number four. In number four, we're asked to unite three line segments. The first line segment is AE, so I'm going to make that blue. The second line segment is AD, so I'm going to make that brown. And the third line segment is DE, and I'm going to make that purple, light purple. And when I look at what I have all together, it looks to me like I have a triangle. So to name a triangle, I'm going to use the appropriate notation. And this triangle could be named using any of the three letters in any order. So I could say AED or DEA, whatever I want. I'm going to say AED. Okay, in number five, they ask us to find the intersection of line segment BC and line segment ED. So let's go ahead and mark line segment BC with a certain color. So I've made it blue. Now I'm going to draw line segment ED in a different color. I pick green. Now, intersect means point or points in common. So as I look at my result, I ask myself, are there any regions that are both blue and green? And I see this region right here in the middle is both blue and green. So the winning region is a line segment, and that line segment is EC. Make sure you use the appropriate notation when you write your answer. 
Okay, moving to number six. They want us to find the intersection of ray BE and line segment AD. So ray BE starts at B and goes in the direction of E forever. Line segment AD looks like this. So one figure is blue, the other figure is green. And the question asks us to find the intersection. Intersection means points in common. So are there any regions that are both blue and green? Now this one's not as obvious. There is a region that's both blue and green, but it's a small little region. It's a region occupied by a single point D. That point D is both blue and green. So the answer to this question is merely a point, point D. Okay, in number seven, they want us to find the intersection of ray BA and ray CD. Let's start with ray BA. This starts at point B and it goes in the direction of A forever. Now let's go to ray CD. This starts at point C and goes in the direction of D forever. Now remembering that intersection means finding the points in common, as I look at my result here, I realize there's no location that is both blue and green at the same time. So this would be the empty set or no solution. So you have a few ways to express this. You could use this symbol to represent no solution. You could do the empty set, which is a set with nothing in it. Or you could actually write the words no solution. I personally like to use this one because it's just the easiest. Going to our last example. In this problem, they ask us to intersect ray AC and ray AD. Let's start with ray AC. This ray starts at point A and goes in the direction of C forever. Now let's go to ray AD. This ray starts also at point A and goes in the direction of D forever. Now be very careful of what's being asked here. We're asked to find the point of intersection. In this case, we ask ourselves, is there any region that's both blue and green? And there is, and this region is a small region identified by a single point, point A. So the answer is point A. But if you look too quickly, you might be inclined to think that the answer was an angle because these two rays together make up an angle. But that's only if the symbol in between were a union symbol. So be very careful to pay close attention to the symbol being used in between the figures. So I hope this lesson on finding geometric intersections and unions has helped.